Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we're going to be changing over the bearings in both my wheels and my free hub. Hi, welcome to this episode. So, what we've got is um, some NTN 6802 ultra low friction bearings for the free hub. We've got the uh, bearing presses and we've got two presses for the 69A2 um, wheel bearings. Uh, these bearings are from uh, Hambini's website. I'll leave a link uh, below. Great service as always. Uh, we've got an M10 uh, one mil pitch thread bar for uh, the pressing. We've got a little soft blow hammer to uh, tap out the um, axles and um, we're all good to go. This will be the first time I've ever done it, so it could be an interesting video. Okay, so we've got my wheel off, uh, the Yolio 60mm deep uh, carbon wheels. You can see the hub here is a DT Swiss 240 straight pull. Um, a lot of corrosion um, by the spoke holes there, just flip it around. Um, that's because we've got, because uh, we live on an island, our air is salty and it's just uh, reacting. That's all. So we've got to get these caps off and that'll expose what we need to do. Okay, so we've got the caps off. It's a bit of a bind because they are not, uh, they're not square. They're a bit uh, angled to get off. So... What I did is I put some M8 thread bar through the through the hub and uh, there's a little lip on the inside. I just caught it, just pushed it out enough, then I could grab it and uh, twist it off. Okay, so that's what the caps look like on the DT Swiss 240s. So moving up to uh, the bearings as I get something caught there. So. Uh, that's grease I just put on there just to stop uh, water getting in. I put that in four years ago and I haven't changed these bearings for four years. Uh, they're actually the original bearings that came with the with the hub. Um, so the cap's done its job pretty well. So apparently we just tap out the axle and uh, the bearings come out. So let's try that. Okay, so after a number of whacks, and I can tell that hasn't been out for four years because that was tough. Uh, after a number of whacks of my tiny, tiny hammer, yeah, um, the axle's gone through, but now I've hit a snag. As I said, it's the first time I've done it, so the bearing's protruding on the other side, and the axle is out. The axle's free to move, but, but I can't hit it in anymore on this side because there's nothing to hit. So I'm going to have to get something to go in there and tap it out. So something that like a, a wedge shape or a cone, if I could push it through with my finger, I would, but I can't. So the axle's free and it's... Uh, I just need something to go on there and just tap it out some more. So I carry on with that. Okay, so the axle is out and the tool of choice was these. Yeah, I put them in there like that and just tapped it with the uh, soft hammer in the vise and the axle came out. Um, there it is. There's the bearing. Um, I'll clean it up and we'll find out what type of bearing it is. Which is quite interesting. Oh, there's a code, but I can't see it at the moment. Notice there's a black side and a orange side. Hmm. I'm not sure if these are angular bearings and uh, you have to put them the right way around, but we'll have a look. Okay, so we're back. We've tapped them both out. Um, we've cleaned up the 
um, hub there. I'm going to clean up this axle, but we've come across quite a major problem. Um, and unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be able to proceed any further. Um, before I ordered the MTN bearings from Hambini, I downloaded the exploded diagram of the DT S240 hub and it said it had 6902 bearings in it. Um, that's not right because these are 6903RS. Uh, the manufacturer is IJK. If we can focus that, let's get a bit of IJK. Okay, um, so I've got the wrong size bearings for my wheels. <laughs> yeah, I know, told you it was my first time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have to go back to Hambini send them those back and get some others, pay the difference. But before I do that, I'm going to strip out the rear wheel and the free hub just to make sure I've got the right bearings because these, the free hub is supposed to be 6802. Um, according to the diagram, that makes me think it isn't. So I'm going to strip out the rest of these bearings and uh, give you an update. Okay, a really good tip for getting the back um, end cap off is to just pull pull it off with the with the uh, cassette still attached. That was easy. Okay, so I've now got a couple of issues. I've got the free hub uh, body. It's got a few marks in it, as always. Um, but I'm not sure how to tap the axle out because it doesn't stick up. Um, I may use the plier trick again, but we'll see. Also, um, the other axle is sticking out. Yeah, it turns really easily. I'm quite impressed with these DT Swiss bearings. I haven't changed them for four years, and that spins really well. Um, a tip, get a bigger hammer, okay? This is only a tiny little thing. Um doesn't have much weight uh, so what I might have to do is get a normal hammer and put some, put some uh, something protecting the axle end and uh, whack it out because the back wheel isn't coming out I've hit it lots of times with that small hammer as hard as I can it's not budging and I also don't know how to get the axle out of this free hub buddy these bearings are ruined I mean they turn but it feels like there's like a pound of sand in there with them. Rough, rough as anything. Um, and these are 6802. 6802. And these are 6802. So I've got the right size bearings for the free hub, the wrong size bearings for the wheels. I've got, as I said, 6902s. And these are. Uh, six nine oh threes. Six nine. Or is that a five? Six nine oh three. Uh, right. So I'll carry on trying to get these uh, out, and I'll report back of how I did it. Okay, so I'm back, and I've actually learnt something today. So as you can see, um, see the little lip in there? So the bearing sits in there on both sides. And it's quite a big gap through the middle. Now, this is the axle or the bit that was uh, in between the bearings. And if you look... It sits like that, but it actually moves around probably that much, and you can just see the inner surface of the bearing. So what I did is I poked a screwdriver down just uh, was able to catch 
the edge of the inner surface of the bearing and I tapped it out and that was easy and that came from this side. Now the star ratchet side, that was tough. It was well jammed in there. So what I did is I got my M10 thread bar like this. Dropped the bearing inside, put my M10 bit on with the nut against the washer and I just whacked the top of this bar really hard with the with the end of a file. I needed something a bit heavier but I just whacked a whack 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 whack, whack and, uh, and it came out. So now I can put this in the Summit Cleaner. Um, I've just ordered a uh, star ring removal tool off eBay for uh, I think £10 or something. That'll be here in a week. That'll probably get here before my bearings. So what I'm going to do then is just remove the ring, uh, clean it up. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to put this in my Sonic Cleaner just for a little bit because I don't want to strip any of the uh, coating off. Um, so there we are, the two bearings. And they are ruined. And they're the right size, so I can change those over today. Um, so my freehold will be done, but I'm still having problems getting this one out. I may need uh, yeah, a bit more force. So I've put my bits through the Sonic Cleaner. We've got the free hub, the front axle, the star ratchet mechanism, the end caps and the front axle, the um, spacer from the uh, from the rear axle, and the spacer from the free hub uh, body. So I'll give them a rinse, and then we will carry on. Okay, these are all rinsed out. All of them are nicely rinsed, all dried, waiting for me to put back together. Um, I still can't get this out, so what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to take this into work um, and I'm going to use the 50 ton press. Uh, it's a manual hydraulic press, um, just so I can press out those bearings. Um, then, as I said, I'm going to return the bearings and the bearing presses back to Hambini, get them changed over and then when it all turns up I shall make the rest of this video. See you soon, bye! Hi, welcome back. It's um, a couple of days later. I've managed to get the axle out um, of the rear wheel. As you can see uh, that bearing is out but um, on the other side, I've still got the, um, whoa, that was a bit dark. I've still got the the ring uh, mechanism in there, the lock ring, star ratchet, whatever you want to call it, uh, still in. So I'm still waiting for that tool to come in the post. Um, so the next video I'll do will be me taking out that, then taking out the bearing, and then re-putting in all the new bearings um, in the free hub and the wheels. Um, things I've learned from this are uh, get a bigger hammer because the little tiddly rubber face hammer I had uh, really didn't cut it. Um, and that's about it. Um, I've also ordered a nylon face mallet as well just for next time. Um, yeah, I was a bit underprepared. I'd never done it before. I didn't realise how, you know, how much effort I'd have to have after having the bearings in there for so long. It's not four years. Um, it's about, when did I buy these wheels? I don't know, maybe one, two. Oh no, it's the hubs. Yeah, not the wheels, the hubs. Yeah, the hubs have been four years so they've had the bearings in for four years so um they're actually in pretty good nick they're, they're not i reckon i could put them back in to be fair but we're going to go with these mtn uh low, ultra low friction bearings from hambini they haven't turned up yet i've just sent them back a few days ago um so i'm not in a rush uh the tool will turn up and then the bearings will turn up and then uh, we can press them in so 
that'll be a cool video. I've also got um, um, some updates coming on the R9 and I've also just bought myself a GoPro. So uh, I don't have to record on my phone all the time. So um, yeah, look forward to it. Um, cool, we'll see you on the next video. Like, subscribe, please. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers. I think last time I looked, we were 982. Um, so grateful, thanks very much. Um, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next Kairos house. Take care, bye.